In this video, we're going to learn how to use a spreadsheet in order to create a plan for an investment portfolio. So in order to do so, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a blank spreadsheet. I've already labeled it investment portfolio spreadsheet, and we're going to fill our investment portfolio in this case with stocks as well as, as bond funds. So I'm going to put in my very first A1 cell um, investment name. And I also want to classify it as a type. So we're going to say which asset type it is. And then our investment name. So for example, my first investment is going to be Apple. That one is going to be a stock. And I want to record what the ticker for Apple is. And that's like the, the, the letter code that it trades with on the stock market. So the ticker for Apple, I know for a fact is AAPL. If you don't know, you can look it up for whatever stock you want it to be. And what we're going to look up in this case is what's the current share price. So that's going to go into column D. And in order to find the current share price, I'm going to go to a site like Yahoo Finance, and I'm going to just type in the ticker right here. Here's for Apple and see what Yahoo Finance tells me. In this case, it is currently $150.96. I'm going to just round that up to $151. And that will go in column D. So that's going to be one of the investments in my portfolio. But I want to think about how many shares should I purchase? And in this case, let's say I've decided I'm going to buy seven shares of Apple stock as part of my portfolio. So I'll write a seven in there. And let's label column F the total opening value. And by opening value, I mean I'm opening this portfolio. I'm buying the Apple shares at this price. What's the total that I'm spending on Apple shares? And what we would want to do here is take $151 for one share times the seven shares I'm going to buy. But of course, we don't want to do that math in our head and just type in the value of what that equals. What we want to do is have the spreadsheet work for us. So I'm going to write an equation. And so I'm going to type equals and it's making a guess for me, but I want to show you how I'm thinking about it. So our equation is going to be that the total opening value is going to equal the cell D2, the current share price, times the shell cell E2, which is the number of shares that I'm purchasing. And you'll see that I'm spending $1,000 or $1,057 on Apple shares. You can do the same thing with um, a bond fund. So for example, in this case, I'm going to use the Fidelity Total Bond Fund. And that's going to be a bond fund as the asset type. The ticker for that is FTBFX. And again, if I didn't know that, I could look it up. And I'm going to copy that ticker into Yahoo Finance and search for that bond fund and see what it's currently trading at. And here we go. It's $11.09. Again, I'm rounding these to the nearest whole dollar. So we're going to go with $11 here. And that's relatively, oops, that's relatively inexpensive. So I'm going to buy a lot of shares of that one. I'm going to actually go ahead and buy about 90 shares of that. And now again, we, we could do that in our heads and put the number in, or we could type in that same um, formula again. We could do equals D3 times E3, but why type it in over and over again when well, we've already got that here? And what we're going to want to do as we create our entire spreadsheet of our portfolio is we're going to want it to do that same equation over and over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. Um, so like edit and copy that. And I'm going to want it to do that the whole way down. So let's go down to like, I don't know, maybe row 19. I'm not sure how many investments I'm going to put in my portfolio, but let's just give me some space. <clears throat> and you can see here what it did was it did the multiplication in that row, D3 times E3. And what it will do down here is if I choose another stock, you'll see that it does it again. So let me choose Verizon. Uh, that's again a stock. Th their ticker is VZ. I'm going to go up to Yahoo Finance. Look up its current share price, $51.85. Let's round that up to $52. 
type that in. Let's, um, and now I've been just kind of making up the number of shares that I might want to buy. But what I really want to do is kind of set a budget for my portfolio. How much am I hoping to invest? So let's say in this case, I have $3,000 total that I want to invest. What I want to do is create kind of a running tally of how much I'm spending on all of my shares so that I can um, see, did I meet that $3,000 I was hoping to invest in my to total portfolio? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put a total over in A20, and what I want to know is what's my total opening value of my of my stock over of my investment portfolio. So this one's going to be a totally different equation. It's going to be equals the sum, and it's it's giving me a guess already. But let's go ahead and type it in ourselves of everything from F two the whole way down here to F nineteen. Currently I'm spending $2,047. So I could start doing some like guess and check. I want that number. I said I wanted it to be about $3,000 of investment. So let's see if I bought 40 shares here, the great thing is, okay, that put me way over. I wanted to spend $3,000 and that put me at $4,000. So instead let's go ahead and buy 10 shares. You see that to get up to $3,000, I've got a bit more spending I can do. So I would next go and think up some other either bond funds or stocks that I would like to buy and continue filling in my spreadsheet from there. Okay, you can see what I've done in the meantime is I beautified my spreadsheet a little bit. I added a few more investments to my portfolio and I got my total pretty close to the $3,000 I was aiming to invest. The other interesting thing I would like to do is look at what percent of your portfolio is made up of each specific investment. So I'm going to label column G percent of my portfolio. Bad spelling there. And um, what I want to do is figure out, so Apple is $1,057 of my roughly $3,000 portfolio. What percent of my portfolio is that? And we can guess that that's about a third, so around 33%, but let's get the spreadsheet to do it exactly for us. So what I'm going to do is again, I'm gonna use an equation. I'm gonna say that this will equal my total opening value that's in Apple divided by the total down here that I'm investing in my total portfolio, which is F20. And um, let's go ahead and that's gonna give it to me as a decimal uh, rather than a percentage. So what we can do is we can hit this percent button and um, we can choose how many decimal places we want it to be. It defaulted to two, um, that seems good enough, but you could also take it down to just the whole percentage. And again, we could do that same equation here, but there's no need to when really what I can do is I can come up here, I can say edit and copy, and I can say, hey, use that same one the whole way down the list. Okay, but we hit this problem, like what has happened? And what has happened is you can look in the equation here and it's dividing F3, which is what we want right here, the 990, divided by, it moved it down to F21. We don't want it to keep moving down. We want it to stay fixed on row 20. Um, because otherwise it's going to keep moving down and there's nothing in these cells down here. So the way you get it to do that actually is let's come back up to the 35 and let's put a dollar sign in front of the 20 because when you put a dollar sign that means like, hey, freeze it right there on 20. Don't keep moving it down. So it didn't change to the 35%, but what's going to happen is when we do copy, and we then go the whole way down and paste, you are going to see that it is now doing it correctly. So again, $990 of um, Fidelity Total Bond Fund divided by F20, which is again, um, this 2992 gives us another 33%. You can see that about 17% of my portfolio is Verizon right now, and about 11% is MasterCard. That one share of MasterCard represents 11% of my total portfolio value. 
And finally, um, $90 worth of six shares of Hewlett Packard is about 3% of my portfolio. So there you go.